Apache Point Observatory in New Mexico. One of America's largest telescopes. It's also one of the last outposts of the Apollo program. Besides having a lot of fun on the moon, the Apollo astronauts were running a series of scientific experiments. Rod, Dave, it looks good to us. Handle down, uh, and on three of the missions, they left behind the retro reflector units want, uh, packed with small mirrors. This one is from Apollo 15. And ever since, astronomers have been firing lasers at them to keep track of exactly how far away the moon is. So once we're all centered up on Apollo 15, I can open the shutter and we're ready to shine the laser. Dr. Russett McMillan carries out the laser ranging at Apache Point. So you're now sending pulses of laser light out towards the moon? That's right. They're going to travel to the moon, get reflected, come back, and get detected by our detector. So how much of the light do we actually get back? Well, we're sending out about 100 quadrillion photons with each pulse. If we're lucky, for each pulse, we might get back one photon. One photon back? One photon out of 100 quadrillion going out. A photon is a tiny particle of light and a hundred quadrillion is a phenomenally large number. But by capturing just a few photons, it's possible to measure the distance between the Earth and the Moon down to the last millimetre. As of right now, the distance to the Moon 393,499 kilometers, 257 meters, and 798 millimeters precisely. Astronomers have been using lasers to measure the moon's distance for nearly 40 years now. And what they're finding amongst all those photons is a very clear pattern. The moon which has been drifting away from us for billions of years, is still drifting at a speed of 3.78 centimetres a year. In human terms, that's about the same speed that our fingernails grow. 